Hello guys, uh, in today's videos we're going to look at how to print uh, the bale of material also known as the bomb, um, the component hand receipt or a hand receipt. So that's what we're going to um, do today. Um, there's something that we would do along the line how to get your force element um, which is, is, is typically a number. Most people think the force element is the same as the UIC. Yes, it's the same as the UIC, but you use the UIC to get the force element number. So when we get there, I will explain further. Let's get to let's get into the video. So first of all, you need to go to your Zeus menu, uh, unit supply menu. Then printing the bomb is under component manager. So we print the bomb as you can see it says Z print com primary hand receipt component hand receipt sorry so here uh you push your material number then you check the component and the basic issued item so with the OSI, when you have, um, if, you, if you build your own um, bomb inside the system in relation to that material number, then you check the OSI, it will print what you, um, the bomb, that, that material number or equipment shortage that you added to that particular NSN. So now let's find the, um, the first element. So I'm going to open a new window. I'm going to go into a new window. And we will go to the primary hand receipt. So this is how we get our first element. Then you just hit enter. So that's your first element. So you can do control A, control C, then copy the first element. Then you come down here. Sorry guys. Then you come down here and you put the force element in. But that's not the force element I need. So I'm just going to use the one that, that is needed for this um, example. I'll come back and show you how to print the long test bomb too. So this is basically the bill of material at the bomb. Basically, you're going to see the component listing or uh, hand receipt, and you can also line out whatever is not applicable, especially when you compare it to the TM or the set um, kit and outfit. You can compare it to the bomb and know which one is applicable, especially when there um, the are certain um, items that are not applicable. So you can line them out when you are filling the bomb. Um, you have to put a serial number right there. That's where you're going to put the serial number or the equipment number. So you see, um, let me pause it and show you something real quick. You see the to and from, right? When you're doing, um, using it as a component listing and you are um, trying to do, a, um, let's say, a lateral transfer, a movement of um, item from one S log to the other. So your two is um, the one receiving the item and the from is going to be the one losing the item. So two is the one gaining the item, from is the one losing the item. Then you put their S log right there. So you put their stock S log right here. So that will be the serial number. Then let's move on. You have your issued by whoever is losing it and received by whoever is gaining it and the date. Remember, the date for the um, issued by and received by are supposed to be the same. They're supposed to be on the same date. All right. And also, during a change of command, the bomb needs to be filled out first and signed before the book is signed. Also, when you want to create a PB01, this bomb needs to be filled out first 
signed by the commander, right? When the commander issues it to, so the, here the commander's name is going to be right here, and whoever the sub Henry seat holder's name is going to be right here, and your signature. When you get this, then you can actually go into uh, GCSS and create your PB01. Let's move on. So as you can see, this is just one page. This is not a long text, right? It's just one page. So you can just print it to your printer or print it to a PDF and save it any any where any how you want it. So we're gonna do how to print a long text. So as you can see, this is just a one page document. So now let's go to the long text. So we will go back into a uh, print, zip on print. Um, we put in a, then you check this box right here. Check it. Uh, as you guys can see, I forgot to check the OCIE, uh, the COIE and BI. So the, see, this is going to give us a two page because we said we want a long text. It's explains further what the item is so as you can see a tent 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 section and modular so it tells you which type of tent it is right so we're going to go to the page two so this is the page one well, already i think i already went to the page two yep so this page one and you go back yeah so basically that is how we out the bomb and some of the features on the bomb um, so from here I'm, the next video that I'm going to do is going to be how to print out a TM and when it comes to the TM we're not going to use GCSS but we're going to use LIW or ASIP but there's one thing that you will need from um, GCSS and that will be the TM number and always the TM number is on the bomb right beneath i think the serial number there's a tm publication number right there and the, i'll show you the reason why you would need a tm and most people want to use the nsn or the nin or the lin but i would i would advise you to always use the tm because it gives you the specific document uh, uh tm that you're looking for so when we get there we'll, we will look at that so guys this is all for today don't forget to subscribe and share for um, other 92 Yankee stores. So have this knowledge. Thank you, guys.